everybody, this is Praxis, and Josh and I are back on site today. We did a half day just uh, the other day. I didn't do a video for that because we're just doing kind of uh, you know, boards around here. But you can see we got a lot done, and we've got a lot done today. The north side roof, uh, it's maybe about a, I don't know, about a quarter of the way done. We've got the first runs over here on the, the south side roof. The east and the west walls are starting to fill in. Things going really, really well in here. Um, we were talking to the contractors to uh, finish up the site work. Uh, we've got the, the big pit in the back. Josh has been uh, digging out, getting kind of a foundation area for the shed that I have to put on there. And the shed is is got to be done before we can move in because uh, it has to have solar hot water panels on it. We can't move in without the solar hot water panels per the regulations. Uh, and uh, so we have to have that shed uh, you know, all put together before we can go in. So that's a critical part of the whole uh, process. So Josh has got that all ready to go. Um, and you can see this is where, uh, just to your right, is where the trucks are going to have access to get up in there to put in the concrete and all, and all that. But there's a dirt pile right over here. Now the, uh, the earth moving contractors uh, said that they would be showing up to uh, get going on that and the septic system and everything. Um, uh, the week before last, uh, didn't work out, uh, and then they told me they definitely would show off this this last previous week, and I'll, I'll give you a, do a, like kind of like a quiz, like see if you learned anything. Do you think that they actually showed up? If you said no, then it sounds like you've been learning from the series. No, they didn't show up. They guaranteed they'd be here last week, but they didn't. They're not here, and while it doesn't hold up anything that's going on in here, there's all sorts of other logistical things that have to go on to, to get this place finished. There's the septic area that has to be installed over there, and you know the contractors, they see their bubble of what they need to do. They need to move some dirt, they need to you know get the septic thing in. They don't really look at the bigger picture of how their work works in concert with everything else. For example, putting in the septic system, uh, there's going to be trenches from the house that are going to run down over to the leach field and the septic tank and all that kind of stuff. And when those trenches are there and those trenches are open, it means that I can't receive any deliveries because trucks can't get in here because they'll fall into the trenches. In terms of the, uh, the foundation that has to go in back here, that is only going to work if there's not a big pile of dirt here that's keeping the concrete truck from getting up there. So whenever you're working with contractors, you have to keep in mind that they're just gonna look at their particular bubble of what they need to do, and they're not going to necessarily be aware of, or possibly in some cases care, whether or not their their work and their uh, obligations work in concert with everything else that has to be done. So while things look like they're going really well, and they are, I really got it in my mind that I really need to get these contractors going because even though there's not an emergency right now, I can see them starting to develop down the road where people are going to be banging into each other. People that I need to be here are going to be bumping shoulders with, with each other if those guys don't come in and do what they need to do before it becomes a problem with everybody else. So whenever you're doing a large project like this, think ahead. Think about things that are going to need to be happening. Think about the needs of the different contractors because they aren't thinking of the needs of the other contractors. They're just thinking about their particular silo, their particular uh, area of work that they're doing, and it's really your obligation, if you're doing the managing on all of it, to try to, the best you can to keep them all playing nice with each other. So that's it. Josh and I are going to keep doing what we can do in here. I'm going to keep making phone calls to keep... Uh, to try to keep those problems from happening down the road. But as far as our personal stuff, things are going really well. That's it. Thanks for watching.